Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tarot with me, Mystic Eve. Um, I thought that because we had a solar eclipse yesterday in Gemini with Mercury all up in that mess, I think it's called Kazemi, um, yeah, it really spoke to me a lot and I thought that that would definitely be the next arcana that we would cover. Um, I was gonna go in order with numbers, but then the numbers got all kind of messed up and numerology can be slippery sometimes. So, who better to talk to than the sun with a solar eclipse just the other day? So, um, <laughs> it was in Gemini, which, spoke to me a lot because Sophie is a stellium Gemini. All of my exes were Gemini. I have a thing for Geminis. I'm a Libra, you know? Um, so also with Mercury all up in that mix, mm, I've been really communicating, receiving and giving a lot of energy with Mercury through Thoth and Hermes and all of that. So I was like, when I saw that he was all up in the mix, I was like, oh my God, of course, of course he would be. I've been doing a lot of sun worship lately and sun gazing and laying out in the sun, absorbing, like really feeling how I can absorb the sun's energy um, through my skin and the, the image of the sun with the rays and the hands at the end of the rays in Egyptian art has really spoken to me, that symbology, um, all, the, all kinds of feels, the feeling, the hands, woo, yeah, dropping my glasses, <laughs> all the feels, oh my god, so, <laughs> um, yeah, this, this solar eclipse is really an auspicious time. Um, it speaks of new beginnings. Um, and I have just felt so much appreciation for all of the gifts and cities that I have received through my practices at Coma over the past year. Now that I'm traveling and on tour again, I'm making money again, which is also like that same auspiciousness of the sun sign of um, passing through doors and accumulating more wealth. Um, and yeah, I've also developed this new take care of me policy. And the take care of me policy basically means that I will take care of me and not worry about the money. Um, and I know that I have enough. I know that I will have enough. I trust my, my level of faith has just exploded. Um, <laughs> there was a cute internal fight with coma a while back but I just remember it was just like it was all about trust it was like you need to trust me and I'm like yeah but you don't understand the realities of the world and how money works and and all of this and then like coma and the divine looked at me like I don't understand what <laughs> and I was like all right all right okay so maybe you do understand all that stuff but and then coma was like uh-uh no buts you either trust me or you don't. You're all in or you're not. And yeah, I mean, I totally, I gave. I was like, all right, I surrender. I'm all in. I'm yours. You tell me what to do and I'll do it. Um, 
and I have noticed through this trip how free I am of stress and worry and the because my body feels that stress and worry very heavily and it just it tenses and it feels all electrical and oh and even there has been a couple times where I felt it a second like when all the bus tickets were sold out and I was like oh shit <laughs> but I have easily been able to be like okay I feel that but my mind does is not controlled by it which is an amazing feeling um I can feel that stress and then ease it and be like easy you're fine everything's gonna be fine and I'll listen to myself which is phenomenal definitely pass through a door uh so the sun oh my goodness the sun speaks of love and new life and construction which makes a lot of sense because we're building a new foundation for our life aren't we Sophie Sophie's about to turn six in a few days on the 17th so that'll be cool big door big passage through a major Gemini door um awareness the awareness is such an important practice actually one of my first major practices um so let's see what the cards have in store they were they definitely spoke um as they always do i mean that's an that's a given <laughs> so i'm shuffling and i'm doing my my new shuffles right center north south east west in the center the sun in the center of the solar system was ten of swords and i was like the death card wow well ten 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 <laughs> Is ten. ten is ten. It's an amazing number. It's a number of completion, of transformation, of that karmic completion. It's, you know, and the death card also means that it's it's not just the death. It's the rebirth that comes right afterwards. You don't look back at the death. You look forwards to the rebirth. Um. So that spoke volumes to me. Um, of passages and doorways and oh my goodness healing my past karma with my father who's no longer with us but you know the son being the the father figure um, healing all of that has been an amazing journey when I started doing a lot of sun worship um, I felt that it was also healing the father issues, right? My past family karma that was on my dad's side that was really messed up and really, uh, some, some heavy demons to, to battle. Uh, so this card also spoke to me a lot about that, passing through that door definitely gave me the ability to be where I am now. Um, the north, in the north, is like what we're thinking about in the air, in our minds, was Jack of Hearts. And, of course, for me, the Jack of Hearts is the, the emo kid coming up in our minds the hearts and cups full of emotions and um the idealist you know and that little kid being shy me <laughs> sophie me. the emo kid me 
being shy and being sensitive. Oh, so sensitive. I still embody that emo kid me as too. an adult. That's me, that's me. And being me. able to embody both joy and sorrow. I mean, that emo kid, you, you remember? Me, me. <laughs> You could be happy one minute and then that's just me. so depressed yeah, the me. next. At the same time. Yeah, me. Um, that's so me. this sun that's eclipse, me. the solar eclipse, I felt is definitely was, it was nice to see the Jack of Hearts in this spread and in the North. Um, so we go straight to the South, what's in the South, and we have Nine of Swords, another sword, and we have the number nine. Nine. <laughs> Past the action of eight, but not yet quite to the receptive ten. It's this number divisible by three that's like completion, but just at the doorway of completion. It's connected with the hermit and also in the tarot, the sun, um, which I thought was interesting that it shows up here. Uh, the nine is anyway, and the swords is air and breath and thought and mental activity um, ready to burst in completion and grounded in combustion. So that was nice. And then what was in the East? The East was Jack of Diamonds. There's that kid again, but this time it's the kid with all the toys. And that's me again. <laughs> you know, the kid with all the toys. Um, the ability to transform earth into its purity, which is diamonds, the pure earth, and also in alchemy, that gold, transforming iron into gold. And I thought of, you know, the sun purifying everything. The That's sun me. purifies. Try not a boy. <laughs> Try to marry the girls. Yeah. So in this position, coming up over the hill, is that kid with all of the toys, all of the resources that will transform everything into gold and give us all the resources we need. That's the sun being like, you need something here. It's yours. Me. <laughs> Me. Manifesting That's what you me. need in life. I, I also thought I she does. Um, and the sun just burning up all of the demons in life also came to me with this card. Mm -hmm. So then we jump straight over to the West and what's in the West at the end of the day, we have five of wands. There's fire right there. And then we have five, five. Five is that tricky little number, which is one of my favorite numbers because it's... My favorite number is 18. It's the number of Mars. Let's stick with five. Um, five. I'm five. Fingers. She is five right now. You're about to turn six, though. Mm -hmm. You're going to pass through a major door. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Five is the number oh. in between worlds. It's between, yeah, so it's the, the middle of, between yeah. one and ten, right? Like that cycle, it is the middle. It is between everything, the fulcrum, the, the
the initiator, right? Because it's Mars's number. It's also that it's it's the you know Mars is that kinetic, that pushing force, the initiator of pushing you past something into a new purified form. There we go with the passage again, the movement of this solar eclipse and this spread. The sun talking to us through this spread is very much into you have passed through this passage. And the wands, the fire, burn it all down with flames so that you can amend the soil and have room for new growth. This is the time to reconstruct everything. Our minds, our bodies, our uh, businesses, the way we make money, the way we think about money. So <laughs> that's the end of this card spread. Thank you so much for watching. I just ordered yes. this morning all of my new stuff, my microphone, my wide angle lens, um, my stand, because, you know, I really like the, um, the vacuum cleaner stand it's, <laughs> with the clip. It's really, it works brilliantly. And I even thought, why do I even need a stand? I'm so, like, I can find anything to put this iPad on, but it'll be handy. Um, so, yeah, I actually maybe will put all of that shit in the surprise links below for the affiliate link. Um, and don't forget to check out my hashtag Mystic Eve spiritual text that we have self-published on Amazon. Um, and my Patreon account. Um, and I have a link tree. So check all that stuff out. I really appreciate all of the likes. Please subscribe if you feel called to. And we will see you next time. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye. Ciao.